What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm wearing black and yes, today we are going to talk about Black Afghano. Black Afghano is one of my favorite perfume because it's very unique. Black Afghano is a very beautiful composition uh, designed by the house of uh, Nesomato or Nesomato. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. And this is the first perfume in the world uh, which contains the note of cannabis or uh, in a simple words of hashish. Black Afghano was a perfume uh, which make the house of Nesomato very famous. If you ever check his other creations, uh, you will find that he always came with very unique and very old combinations. As in Black Afghano, he used the note of cannabis with tobacco, with uh, wood and with green notes very beautifully. And this is the perfume which make them famous. I will not go in details because as you know, this is a very famous perfume and it's the market uh, from quite a long time and there is a lot of good youtubers which have made very good reviews about it so if you are interested in the notes breakdown and this kind of things you can go and search youtube you will find a lot of good videos if we talk about the price the price for black afghano a 30 ml bottle is 389 dirham right now in the market 389 dirham for a 30 ml is too much but that doesn't mean it didn't deserve that money the money is for the creation uh, as you know perfume making is an art and art have no price art is priceless because of my love for this perfume i was always trying to search for the alternatives so that i can have the same experience without breaking my bank in the market there are quite few alternatives but they are so cheap so bad and uh, they will never give you that real experience then after searching out for a while i find a very good option for black afghano and that was from the house of al haramain but it was in the form of oil so what i did i purchased the oil and then I mix it with my ethyl alcohol and this is what I came with. If I try to explain you why all these other cheap alternative fails to copy this, this beautiful creation is I think uh, the main note of cannabis. Uh, none of them can get this real cannabis note uh, which al Haramain got it very right, very perfectly. If I talk about the performance, uh, this gives me a very good performance like five to six starts easily on my skin and uh, seven to eight hours on my shirt which is very good for the price i paid i cannot complain then last week i happened to visit the market of dubai and there is a very famous house in dubai uh, with the name of paris corner i was planning to buy a few of their products from a long time uh, but i never had a chance to visit them so fortunately last week i had some work in dubai i visited their shop and have made few purchases there I have found something very interesting and that is this. This is Project Black from the house of Paris Corner and they tried to make a very good copy of it. Even if you see the packaging, it's the same as uh, Natsumato, Black Afghano. The box, the printing is all same. Uh, let's have a look at unboxing and then we come back to the presentation. Now let's talk about the presentation. As you have seen in the unboxing, it comes in this beautiful black box. Uh, this is a matte finish black box. The quality of the box is very good. Uh, they have done a very good job. On the front, you will find the name of uh, this perfume. They call it Project Black. Uh, and here is from the Pandora Sense. Uh, Pandora Sense is one of their brand. They are using the name Paris Corner on some of their line, but now uh, they are more focused on this new brand which is Pandora Sense. This is EDP concentration and it's 60 ml bottle. If you see on the side, one side is plain, on the other side they have mentioned the notes. This is something very good because most of the perfume houses they don't do that. As per the box, in top notes there are agarwood and incense, in the middle notes there are resins, woody notes and cannabis. 
And in the base notes, they have tobacco, coffee, and green notes. Then on the back, they have ingredients and the logo of Paris Corner here. And they have this shiny holographic sticker here as a sign of originality. And on the bottom, you will find the manufacturing and expiry date with this barcode, like a simple design. The box is really nice. The finish is very good. Uh, they have paid a good attention in details and it looks very decent, very decent. So now let's open it and let me show you the bottle. They tried to copy the original Black Afghana bottle, but they just changed the proportions. If you have ever seen the original Black Afghana bottle, it comes in a very small bottle, 30 ml bottle with a very big wooden cap. Here they make the bottle bigger, but they keep the same wooden cap. Cap is very nice, it's made of wood, very light wood, it's not heavy, it's very light and it's very snug fit. It will not make that click sound, but this is a snug fit. But don't try to carry this bottle from the cap because this bottle is made of glass and as you can see it's having a very thick glass base. So I don't think this cap can hold the weight. Don't take the risk. Talking about the bottle, it's very simple. There is nothing on the back or on the sides, it's just the name of the perfume printed on the front and their brand Pandora Scents and there is this sticker down uh, telling about like all the perfume concentration and for external use and blah 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 so if you see the color of the juice is also black they try to copy the whole presentation from black afghano now let's talk about the sprayer uh, sprayer is uh, pretty nice i have already tried it from the morning so just to show you see it throws a lot of juice and pretty nice presentation with the price point it's very good and i am going to explain you the fragrance by comparing it with al haramain's uh, black afghanos oil version okay project black opens with a very beautiful tobacco and incense note incense is very prominent here tobacco is very prominent here uh, but unfortunately the note of cannabis is not very prominent it's there but it's not as prominent as this. On the other hand, this version of uh, Al Haramain's Black Afghano, it opens with very strong tobacco and cannabis note. And the incense here is not uh, that prominent or it's not that strong as it's here. And if we talk about the dry down, this is going to change on your skin and on your dress. In the dry down, you will be left with uh, very beautiful soft incense and tobacco notes. Yes, there are some woodsy notes in the beginning for the first one or one and a half hour. But in the dry down, you will be left with very soft, beautiful incense smell with a very nice, beautiful uh, light tone of tobacco. Uh, but there will be no cannabis in the dry down. Or maybe it's my nose which cannot pick it up. On the other hand, the one from uh, Al Haramain is not very dynamic, it will not change a lot uh, from the beginning till end. It will give you this same strong tobacco note uh, with this strong cannabis note or hashish note. And even in the dry down, you will be feeling uh, both of these notes with some uh, soft uh, uh, woodsy notes. And that's it. So now let's talk about the performance. Black Afghano from the house of Al Haramain. This gives me from 8 to 9 hours or you can say 10 hours of total longevity and sometimes depending on the type of fabric you are using a type of fabric let me tell you guys on the silk uh, these perfumes will not stay long uh, i don't know i think silk cannot hold the oil well or whatever but if you're wearing a t-shirt or you're having a cotton shirt it will stay on your shirt from like 9 to 10 hours easily and uh, from that 9 to 10 hours you can say 5 to 6 hours with good longevity and if we talk about the projection two to three hours of very good beastly projection if we talk about project black this will give you like a total of five to six hours of longevity whereas the first one and a half to two hours of good projection i am really a big fan of paris corner because some of their projects are very beast mode and they are so good even though it's just a six milliliter bottle uh, but still the performance is not that good but the price we are paying believe me it's a steal it's a steal for the price we are paying something to tell you about al haramain's black afghano the problem with this oil is that they are not going to sell you this oil in small quantity you have to buy this 500 cc flanker it's a big flanker and the price of that flanker is for 200 dirham for i think uh, 42 tolas or something uh, it's like uh, like half half kg of oil
most of the time you don't want that much quantity uh, because you know it's my hobby I have bought it and I keep making it and I keep distributing it to my friends to my family members to my cousins uh, because man come on you cannot use 500 cc by yourself it will take your whole lifetime to use that much oil here the price of this bottle is 25 dirham uh, with this good presentation and a very presentable bottle so if you don't want to put yourself in the hassle of buying this big 500 cc flanker from Alharamain and then buying yourself ethyl alcohol and arrange the bottles and then mix them go for this it will make your life easier uh, no mess no hassle just go for it and for the price you are paying uh, there is no complaint five to six or seven hours of good longevity uh, with a good performance as it's very cheap you can keep the bottle with you all the time or you can uh, have these uh, small traveler refillers and you can refresh it or reapply it every like three to four hours and it will give you kind of black afghano experience it's very near to black afghano it will give you that feel but to be very fair you will not get that sharp and prominent note of hashish or cannabis here so this was for black afghano see you in the next video bye